um, Chelsea Manning, political prisoner, that she was released from jail so either yesterday or the day before, which is obviously huge. And she was actually re released from jail a day after an attempted suicide attempt. So again, Chelsea Manning is is a patriot. She's a heroic figure who is willing to stand up for for truth, for democracy, for speaking truth to power by um, she she was a whistleblower and she exposed a lot of um, you know crimes that were being um, perpetrated by the U.S. government, lots of just war crimes and, and further misdeeds of the U.S. government of the U.S. Empire, and as a result, she was just you know just treated in this just horrible, inhumane, unethical, just really disgusting way by our government as just a way of basically. Um, <laughs> signaling to other people if they, you know, if they're in, 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 in the military or the, you know, intelligence field, if they see some, you know, unethical or illegal things or questionable things that our government is doing to, to not speak up, to not call those things out when they are observed because we're going to treat you exactly like Chelsea Manning was treated. We're gonna, just going to, um, you know, lock you up throw away the key and in the, for this particular case Chelsea Manning was being held in jail um, I believe it's in Virginia for over a year for refusing to testify in the um, in the secretive grand jury that was convened to try to dig up some dirt on WikiLeaks and Julian Assange Chelsea Manning wasn't going to participate in this secretive just sham uh, you know, uh, grand jury process, and then so they locked her up as a result, and they were at there as well as fining her for each day. I forget what the exact sum was, but now she has two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in fines. Judge didn't waive that; they said, "Nope, you still you still got to pay that." So she's you know quarter of a million dollars fine for sticking up for her principles for doing doing what's right even though it costed her a huge personal cost that just you know really speaks to her deeply held values of like no I'm not going to participate in this witch hunt against uh, WikiLeaks and Julian Assange by trying to um, you know, get myself out of jail. I, I don't believe in this process. I'm going to stand up for what I believe in, and that's speaking truth to power, holding the U.S. government accountable when they do things that are illegal and ethical or immoral. So um, she was released, but she still has $250,000 in fines, and so there was a fund that was set up to pay 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 back some of those fines um, with the goal of obviously paying them all back for for the patriot and hero that Chelsea Manning is last I saw was just under 100,000 so almost halfway there if you have the ability um, I'll try to leave I'll try to look for the link to that fundraising page for Chelsea's legal fees and um, if I'm able to find it I'll leave it in the description box down below and um, donate a couple bucks if you can because again all U.S. citizens honestly owe Chelsea Chelsea Manning a huge debt of gratitude for the um, just huge personal sacrifices that she has made and continues to make in the pursuit of justice and freedom and holding the U.S. government accountable. So really awesome to see that she got released and hopefully she never has to... <laughs> go back to jail for any of the whistleblowing activities that she has engaged in because again she's a patriot she's a hero she de deserves all of our respect and admiration and yeah don't have anything really else to say but just how nuts it is that the people that speak truth to power and actually inform us about the crazy illegal horrible stuff the government's doing in our name and with our money they get thrown in jail, they get persecuted, but not the people within the U.S. government. They're actually doing and committing, you know, <coughs> war crimes and assassinations and all of those things. So that's the tipsy-topsy world we live in. 
Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Please leave them in the comment sections down below. Peace.